Lord, let people who kill my son, they are coming, they are coming. Of series of attacks was if in the 18th century when there was no paramount chief and chiefs in the land of the people of Adar, the head of Asafutin, the fearless warrior Asafuache, was informed of series of attacks by unscrupulous invaders who have been attacking the neighboring towns and their approach to their land of Adar. Upon hearing these atrocities, Dasafuache summoned all his members to prepare for a war so that they can protect and save the lives of the people and the land. <laughs> the people are coming. The people are coming. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> The people who kill my Those son, invaders. they are coming again. No! I stop for me! I stop for me! I stop for me! I stop for me. <laughs> we are going to fight! Those invaders, they came again, but no more! We are going to fight! This time we will conquer! The time for the war is finally here. The Asafuache and his members of the Asafu team fought relentlessly and fiercely, boot for boot, blood for blood. Many of them were killed, but they relentlessly waited every individual from the invaders team, and the leader of the invaders team was beheaded. Oh, yes. At the end of the battle, they emerge victorious. Now, lay down your weapons. Lift them up. We are going to fight. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, oh. Journey their way back to their homeland, but they came across a river. The river that is what they used to wash off any blood and impurities. As they are doing so, they were watching their back to see if any enemy is coming. Oh, yes, and they named the place Aple Naye. Yes, Aple Naye, meaning we watched back and saw no enemy. Now we are going to wash our body of any blood and impurity. Now, you can take them to the community. Wash any blood and impurity of you. 
We're going to name this place a planner yet. Because when we look back to the past, our enemies were gone. Let's go back to the community and give them the good news. Mm. They got back to their community with an ecstatic merriment of joy and rhythms of new victory. Yes. The victory of these relentless, patriotic, and gallant sacrifices of these gallant men. These patriotic warriors will never be forgotten. And in so, they celebrated these people with a particular festival called the Asafo Tufiam. Asafo Tufiam. And they do it every year. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. them. But do you know what? We will celebrate. Yes! We came out victorious. Let us dance the Pacho dance to celebrate. and celebration of the Astafo Tufiam Festival. As our warriors had fought and won many battles, the people of the community decided to come up with something in honor and celebration of their sacrifices. That is when they came up with Astafo Tufiam Festival. Astafo, which means group of warriors. Tu, which means gun. Fiami, which means shooting. A sapo, tufium. That is why even today, during the celebration of the festival, there's firing of musketry. Can you hear the sound of the fire? And also, there's performance of signs and wonders, like fetching of water with a basket without a draining. Yes, to you, it may be magic, but to us, it signifies the strength and courage of our land and its people. Just like the way we as Ghanaians celebrate Independence Day in honor and celebration of our warriors and forefathers who fought for our independence, we celebrate our Safotufium in honor of our forefathers who fought for the establishment of their dark land and the peace of its people. Let it be known to all, like the way it is known, that the Ghan celebrates Homowo, that the Adan celebrates Asafo, Tufiam. Yes, different festivals, but we are united as one people from the greater Accra region as a whole. Asafo, Tufiam, this is our story and we take pride in it. Thank you.